Okay, so my show is called The Black Rainbow Club. It's a comedy drama, and it features an almost entirely black cast drama. Uh, starring Aurora Davidson, a 19-year-old lesbian who has just arrived at her new school, Harewood University, a historically black university, or HBU, or HBCU. Um, which is in Washington, D.C., uh, and she's an adoptee of white parents who grew up with few black people around and a queer woman. So uh, as these two different identities, uh, she has to navigate her new environment while feeling like an outcast surrounded by people that look like her, uh, which are, you know, black people. So even though she's in an HBU, she still feels like a minority. Um, so she decides to start an LGBTQ plus club with her new friend Gabriel, which only two other students attend. Uh, the four students become friends and the series follows the group's adventures. Okay, so characters, we have Aurora. Uh, she's a lesbian who was adopted from white parents and grew up in the suburbs. So she has a kind of skewed perception of her blackness and um, what other people perceive her blackness to be, uh, being surrounded by a bunch of uh, black people at her university. Um, we have Gabriel Wilkins, who's a flamboyant uh, gay student. Uh, he's a virgin, but as he begins college, he feels a lot of pressure to um, become sexually active uh, because uh, of all the hookup culture going on around him, but also because he wasn't allowed to express himself um, growing up because of his homophobic upbringing. But he later realizes that he is asexual, um, but he still experiences romantic attraction. We have Silas Snyder, who is a flirtatious, confident player um, who is pansexual. And he is he's a womanizer, but not just for women, for all genders, because he's pansexual. Um, and he's later revealed to be transgender. Uh, and then we have Kay Holland who's an anomaly in this college because she's white uh, and she joins the LGBTQ club uh, basically just to make friends and to show her allyship. So this show will have 10 episodes, each 45 to 55 minutes long, and uh, it'll stream on Netflix weekly. Uh, the weekly release is better for Netflix because recently it's been receiving a lot of criticism for uh, the two parts um, season releasing. And um, this also keeps the discussion around the show um, going on for longer. Uh, and it encourages users to keep paying for their subscription to Netflix for longer as well. So the comedy will be a combination of cringe comedy, a raunchy humor, and deadpan uh, with a lot of human awkwardness. Uh, the comedic elements will be balanced with the dramatic elements, but if I were to submit this to the Emmys, it would be in the comedy categories uh, because it's, it's more comedy than drama, but it does have dramatic elements as well. Uh, and the comedy itself is inspired by uh, Fleabag, The Mindy Project, and SpongeBob, but the character's setting and storyline is kind of more inspired by shows like Sex Education and Dare White People. So this show, this show's main purpose is representation. So there is representation for multiple different black and queer identities. Uh, there's a transgender man, uh, an asexual character, 
um, which we very rarely see in fiction. Even in 2023, there are not a lot of asexual characters in television. Um, and it's different from what has come before it because uh, of the setting. The HBU is not a setting that uh, happens a lot in, in television um, or fiction in general. Uh, there also aren't many shows comprised mainly of queer black characters, especially ones that are the main characters. They're usually just supporting, but our entire cast, well, almost our entire cast is are queer or black. And it's kind of a joke that uh, the one white character is straight. Um, and it's trying to also debunk stereotypes uh, in terms of uh, certain characters like Gabriel, uh, it subverts the it subverts the hypersexual gay character trope uh, by revealing him as asexual. Uh, yeah, and also these topics are still taboo in a lot of black households. Uh, outside of the U.S. and in the U.S. So hopefully the show will be able to start conversations in these households and these communities, which can lead to more accepting society. So yeah, that's my show.